This is my little formal, but I can take off the jacket when I get to work. I think that the guys will love the short skirt. Thanks! I should probably look for my phone. Gosh, I looked all over. But this is the last room, so it must be here. Finally, I found it! Wow, it's getting kind of late. That can't be Aya. She could never come twice in one day. I better get my knife. What do you want? Well, sorry, I'm sorry! Hey, where are you going? Well, that ought to scare him off for a little while. Oh my god, my heart is pounding and my head is spinning. I think I'm going to pass out again. Crap. Oh god, what happened? I must have slept into the morning. Are you alright? What are you doing on the ground with the door open? Gosh, you look terrible. The thief showed up at my house last night. And the thief? Yeah, I think I scared him off. Uh, you answered the door with a knife, didn't you? Well, what else was I supposed to do? Well, what did he look like? I don't know, he was probably in his late 20s. Was he cute? Are you serious? That guy's creep. He's got a lot of nerve coming here. You've got a lot of nerve answering the door with a knife. Did you even find out what he wanted? Well, he ran away before I got the chance. He could just be your new neighbor or something. It's okay to be careful, but answering the door with a knife is something else. Hey, I need to go. I was supposed to be at work an hour ago. Here's your mail. How does she not get fired? The mail. I feel blood rush to my head as I glance at each piece. I never get anything significant, but I'm always worried that there will be bad news in here. Did I pay a bill too late? Did I overdraw my account? Are my investments in the red again? I really worry about everything. Huh? What's this? Somebody must have put this in the mailbox since there's no stamp. Letter. Dear Miss, I'm really sorry about last night. I see you in the window every day on my way to work, and I think that you are beautiful and seem really interesting. I tried to build up the nerve to knock on your door a few times on my way home, but I found myself just standing outside. I work at a French patisserie just down the street, so I'm not a stranger or anything. I've actually lived in this neighborhood for a long time. It might seem inappropriate to reveal this in a letter, but I actually have an irrational fear of being inside houses. It's known as the Meltophobia. I'm not sure how it started nor why, but the thought of even knocking on a door makes my heart race. When I saw you come to the door with a knife, it really set me back the few years progress that I made in therapy. I hope that we can have another chance. I left my phone number if you'd like to call me. Kento. I can't believe this. I need to call Arya right away. She probably knows him, since they work at the same place. Oh my gosh! Can't you stop by your house? He's cute! Ah oh gosh, you're right. He was cute. What was I thinking? Going to the door with a knife. Uh, see? You really are beautiful. You have a hot mystery, guys. Uh, you have hot mystery guys knocking on your door and you don't even have to leave your house. He's a great dresser too. Well, if he's so great, why don't you go out with him? Actually, I thought he was gay. I mean, he dresses really nice and he doesn't have a girlfriend. Also, I'm pretty happy with the guy I'm seeing right now. Oh yeah, who? I'm sort of dating my boss. You're dating your boss. So that's why you never get fired. Hey, if he, I wasn't good, he would fire me, alright? So what are you going to do about Kento? Should I call him? No, don't. Well, I don't know. Maybe you could. Did you know that he's afraid of being inside? What? I had no idea. He doesn't seem to be afraid of being inside the bakery, so I'm not sure what he's talking about. Look, look, I will ask him to stop by your house after work. It will be fine, don't worry. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like a date or something. I should probably figure out what I'm going to wear. Now I just have to wait for him to show up, I guess. I'm really nervous. That must be him. Hello? Hi, is Sasuke home? I'm sorry, there's nobody named Sasuke here. 
I know that he lives here. I've been here before. Well, obviously you hate the wrong name. A home. I'm the only person that lives here. Interesting. Damn it, I, I shouldn't have told him that I live alone. Get out of here! I'm calling the police now! That wouldn't be very nice, would it? Man, hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh my god, he came just in time. He tried to force his way into my house, but he whacked him. Thank you so much. Just hurry and call the police before he gets up. So the guy... <clears throat> so the guy tried to break into your house, and your friend picked up your flower pot and knocked him out with it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry about all of the trouble, ma'am. We know this guy pretty well, because he's a repeat offender. For what? You're better off not knowing. Don't worry about him. He's going to be in jail for a long time, and he's probably not going to get out this time. It's a good thing your boyfriend came along when he did. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Really? Is he single? Um, forget I asked. Again, don't lose any sleep over this. We'll make sure he doesn't bother you again. Thanks, officer. Can't, I can't thank you enough. It's really nothing. Anyone in my position would have done the same. Not at all. I was ready to freeze. It's fine. I just came by to apologize for the other day. And what? I should be apologizing to you. Well, after what happened today, I think I understand what happened. That guy has probably been bothering you for a while. Uh, it's late now, so I should probably go home. We'll be alright. Well, he's afraid of getting inside. So maybe ask Kento to stop by sometime? Hey, I wouldn't mind if you wanted to stop by sometime. Sure thing, you can text me or an number later. I do it right now. Got it, see you around. By the way, sorry about your plant. No need, it was dead anyway. I've actually been meaning to do something about it. I feel so tired. I should probably try harder to fall asleep. What's this? No, continue. What would you and your son like for lunch? My mother shook her head violently and the waitress and thought that I didn't see her. Oh, excuse me. Crying in front of my mother. It didn't bother me that the waitress thought I was a boy. What bothered me was that my mother let it ruin our lunch. A lunch that she was really looking forward to. I was always disappointing people in one way or another. It was things like this that began deterring me from leaving the house. I wonder if Kento is going to call me. Uh, I hate this part of both meeting a new guy. I have nothing to do, so he's all I can think about. I keep checking my cell to make sure that I didn't miss any calls. How dumb! I don't even know him. I should be like him. Liking him already. Huh? It's... Uh, it's just Ava. Ava. Yeah, what do you want? What do you think? I have no idea. Did you get locked out again or something? No, I talked you about last time. Did Kento come over? Oh, so you don't know what happened. Oh no, what happened? That creepy guy that I was telling you about tried to force his way into my house last night. What? So he's Kento the creepy guy? Why didn't you call me right away? Did you get hurt? I didn't call you because I didn't want to think about it. I'm fine, but it's all thanks to Kento. He showed up just in time. I can't even imagine what would have happened that, uh, if he had not shown up. I don't get it. Who is the creep? What did he say anything? What did he want? He was basically fishing for information about whether someone lived here or not, and then tried to break in. Kento knocked him out with the dead plant and then police came to and got him. I'm sorry. I guess it's a good thing that I asked him to go over there. Yeah, I guess. I gave him my number, but he didn't call me yet. Come on, it's 12 in, after 12 in the afternoon. It hasn't even been 24 hours. Hey, I need to get going or I'm going to be late. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be at work at 8. You already are late. Yeah, I know, bye. Seriously, I can stare her sometimes. Stand her sometimes. But what can I do? She's my only friend. 
I wonder what Kanto is going to think when he finds out that I can't leave the house. Well, I guess it's just bad. As bad, so he can't really be pointing a crazy finger at anybody. I better get in control of my health fast. Maybe I should do something. Well, I guess he isn't going to call me. Did I take a shower today? Gosh, I don't think I did. Ah, oh, well, some people don't think that it's good for you to take a shower every day anyway. It's so early. What should I do today? Good morning. I just stopped by to give you your mail. Thanks. Kento didn't call me last night and I, it's making me crazy. Really? You must really like him already. I think it's just because I haven't met anyone in a really long time. Well, you don't want to come off as desperate. You wait for him to call you. Do you understand? I know. Alright, I need to go. I think I will actually be on time today. It's already 15 minutes after 8. Like I said, I think I'm actually going to be on time. See ya. The pretty girls get away with everything. Actually, I don't think she's that pretty. What shall I do today? Oh my gosh, I wonder if it's like him, if that's him. Am I dressed appropriately? Hi. Have you eaten? No, not yet. What do you have there? Well, since you can't come outside and I can't go come inside, I thought we could have an indoor-outdoor picnic in the doorway. That's a great idea. I was wondering how we were going to do this. Wait a minute, I never told you that I couldn't go outside. Oh, I guess I just assumed. You seemed unwilling to step outside for the police when they come. Thanks for reminding me. Sorry, I won't mention it again. Don't worry, you are safe with me. Kento pours a glass of sparkling cider for each of us. So you can explain to me what you brought? I don't seem to recognize anything. We actually make all of that at this, uh, all of this at the bakery. The sandwich is called Pan Banan. It's basically a tuna salad sandwich. Wow, I love tuna salad. Really? I was a little nervous because people either like canned tuna or hate it. In Japan, people usually prefer fresh tuna over canned. I also brought a hon honeyed fruit salad and quad records au chocolate. It's basically just a chocolate pound cake. Wow, thank you so much. Everything looks very, really delicious. Kento helps me the sandwich and puts his hand underneath mine to prevent it from dropping. My heart pounds and I feel flushed immediately. I can't believe how long it's been since a man touched my hand. Are you alright? You're not allergic to anything, are you? No, why do you ask? Your face just look a little red. That's all. Come on, Himiko. You just have to be normal for like an hour. Is it really that hard? Kento and I finish our evening meal. He tells me about his family that lives in Fukuoka, who run a gambling business. His father runs the business and... And his father and sister walk as cashier. They deal with all of the crazy money losing men. I tell him that my parents are really early around. They are always off looking for new business opportunities in places. I've never heard of. I think it's just an excuse to be on permanent vacation. That's why I always have the house to myself. If I was in my house all day long, I would probably go crazy. I was wondering about that. How do you manage to stay in your own house? It's not easy, but being in my own house is a little better. I basically stay outside of it as long as possible. When I'm ready to go to sleep, I take a tranquilizer and an antipsychotic, wait for 30 minutes and take one step in the doorway to see if there's any effect or not. That sounds really intense. What would happen if you didn't take the pennies? Well, I'd probably be convinced that I saw something in the house, and I'd stay up all night, waking to every creak and groan. What kind of things do you see? When I was little, I used to think I saw monsters. Now that I'm older, I see people, moving shadows, and have delusions of parasitosis. What's that? Sometimes I see bugs crawling around on my skin, usually worms or ants. Sometimes I think I see spiders running around the house too. Wow, that really sounds serious. Is the medicine helping? Oh yeah, I'm 
if I own the medicine, I don't really have any problems. However, one time, I forgot my medicines inside, and I had to ask Gaia to help me get it before I could go to sleep. Really? I didn't know you guys were that close. We are not really, but we live right next to each other. Well, it's getting late. I guess I should be going. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice talking to you. I'm glad you enjoyed the dinner. If you ever have a special request, just let me know. After all, I'm always out and about. <laughs>